We're back. Come at me, bro. Come at me, huh? What you want, huh? Yo, what's up? Peace, man. Peace. Oh, I'm looking at myself. That's creepy. That's my stand-in. When I'm trying to find focus. You're such a freaky girl. I love it. Yeah, it does kind of look like a little pump. Push it back in. Just need some pink hair. Okay, don't move. Don't move. Just stay right there. And welcome back to Pick Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty, and today we're looking at something new. Yes, just for you guys. You guys demanded it. New review, new product. So here it is from Slubon. This is actually my first Slubon brick review. So Slubon has been around for a while. They've done plenty of other sets. They have tons of themes. They used to steal ideas from Legos. So apparently now they're doing original stuff. So mad props to them for trying something new. And apparently they have the license to this. So I'm gonna split this video up into two. Because there's kind of like two groups. This is one group that you're seeing here with a little Hugger, face hugger there, and predator on deer. Deer, you all right? Why are these things on me? Okay, I'll take the predator off. And the other stuff that you're seeing here on deer is for the next video. And we're gonna take a look at these two boys first. Look at that. And this is Slubon's The Predator. B0720A, which is the predator, is 556 pieces. And B, the alien with a face hugger, which is 442 pieces. Now each one of these are sold separately, but this kind of belongs in one group here. And the other group is more like battlefield style stuff, helicopters and tanks, fun stuff to play with. This is more like the figures. So we'll jump into the Predator first. Let's take a look at it right now. Deer will put this on your face just like that because that's how they do it in the movies. Get it off me, please. Now from my understanding, Slewban is notorious for having like loose pieces that fall apart on other sets. We're gonna see what this is like and see if it does fall apart or not on us. Now the first thing is I do like the scale and the size of the figure. I think it's quite nice. It's not too small. It's not too big. And as for moving loose pieces, there are a couple on here that are loose. I'll get to those in a second. But for right now, let's just take a look at it at him. Are you him or are you her? I don't know. We'll start with the legs down here and the feet. Look, he's gonna moonwalk. <laughs> no, seriously though, it's actually pretty okay. Nothing's fallen off yet on it. The toes can come, or the nails down here, they can come a little bit loose just because, you know, they're just on that wrench looking piece that sits on here. Above the feet here is a little joint where the ball sits in. It's pretty sturdy in there. It holds pretty well. It's not gonna fall off. Now, if you're gonna move this thing around a lot and like try to pose with it, pieces will slowly come off, but it's easy to put back on. And surprisingly, look at that. I'm gonna get rough with this. Watch, something will fall off, I'm sure. Two things fell off, three things fell off. So yeah, when you build it for the first time, it's actually held in place pretty good. But when you start moving around, I'm doing all these close-up shots, sometimes I start to see things fall apart a little bit more. And you know, you gotta get in there, be really patient, and just kind of snap things back together. These pieces here on the back of his legs can fall off pretty easy, so be, be careful for that. And he should be okay. So just a fair warning, you know, it's not gonna be totally fully playable. You got his nice thick thighs there. All these things that you see, the patterns on his whole body everywhere, most of those are stickers. Surprisingly, the sticker quality was pretty okay. I had no problems with them. They look really good. They actually look like they're kind of part of the tile. I do like his little tail back here. It's got a lot of patterns there going on. Those are all stickers, by the way. And we'll keep moving our way up. And then along his waist here, he's got these two little circular symbols. I'm not quite sure what they represent or mean, but you can move them back and forth. And you can even rotate them if you really wanted to. Then we come up to his chest plate, his armor. Looks really cool to me. I don't have a problem with that. Again, those are all stickers along the front. I probably could have put them on a little bit nicer. And then we come to his arms. Now the shoulder pads are probably the only things that can come off really easy. Yeah, see, they just come off like super easy because it's just sitting on like one single stud up here. So you watch, just like that. The arms do articulate. And just one thing here that the arm can come out a little bit easy because it's just being held like that. There's nothing really there to really hold it down securely. So that could pop out on you. But look, you can be like, yo. What's up? So from his arm to his elbow, you got more movable joints here. It moves in and out. And he's got all these fingers. Look at all the fingernails on there. Cool, you can pose them. You can like keep a little fist there going. Arr. So that's cool. Arms, legs, knees, everything can move. Just be really careful because when you do move in, it might pop out here and there, but it is posable and it'll hold in whichever position you like. If you want to put the arms out like that, he might fall forward. So we're going to bend his knee a little bit and he'll be like, Sing to me. And then maybe move his butt there, see? I just posed him and it's holding up okay. And open up his fingernails here. And be like, yes, yes. And the thing that I like the most about him is of course his face and his hair. Let's just rip his face off and just take a look at this sucker. Pull it off there, look there. So you put that off. Look at his head. It's actually really cool. You know why I like it? I love the hair part. Look at that, it looks like a 
crazy spider thing going on. It's just like the film, right? Now, the only downer for me for this is the face. It's one piece. That's a predator's face. It's one piece. Doesn't look like a brick piece to me. I kind of wish that the face was more brick looking. Now, the good thing is that you have this whole play area here. You could probably actually make your own face on there. Just kind of like the Statue of Liberty that everyone's talking about, like replacing the face and using bits and pieces to fix with that. Okay, now that we got his head back on, this is actually really neat too. He's got a little gun back here. Yeah, his shoulder gun. Pew, pew, pew. If you're a fan of Predator, for sure, this thing's actually pretty cool. Just my only issue being the face and a couple of these pieces that are a little bit loose on him. But you know, if you're not gonna move it everywhere, it'll be fine. And I do like the hand here, it's really cool. They have a weapon here. This is like his blade, right? I gotta go watch his movies again. I haven't seen it for so long. And you can probably take that off and you know, put a flat piece there if you don't want him to have a weapon coming out. And speaking of weapon, he does have two weapons here. We have this star, this ninja star looking thing. I don't remember him using this in the film, but I guess he did, right? I can't remember these things. And he comes with this spear, and the spear is a little bit loose because it uses like gun pieces here on the edges and it's really loose and it can pop out quite easy like that. That's kind of loose. Yeah, but I wasn't really focused on the weapon too much. And it has a little stub here or stud that sticks out and it's supposed to stick along his hand here, but the spear is a little bit heavy. If I put that in there, he'll hold, but if you flip it upside down, it can fall off. It's holding or you might want to just close his fingers here so it has a better grip on it and be like, charge. Yeah, the socket from the arm can get loose pretty fast. When it's in there, it's snug, it's really weird. It's like when you start moving it around, it'll fall off. Let's attack the alien. Speaking of alien, let's jump into the alien right now. Right there, you okay over there? I thought we were done with this. Get it out of my face. All right, all right, we'll be right there. We're gonna slide the predator out of the way. Okay, for the alien, the proportion of the body itself to me feels a little bit off. It feels more like a puppet now. It's like, I don't know what it is, man. The knees are too big, the head's too small, the hands may be too big. So to me, the scaling is off. The predator scaling looks a little bit better to me. The alien, however, is way more durable. Nothing's gonna fall off this guy, look at that. Super secure, you can totally pose the tail. Now I've had the tail in here this way because, you know, that's how they do it in the, in the posters and the promotions for aliens, really. Come on, man, it's H.R. Geiger, or Geiger, however you say his name. He was a sick man with so many creative, crazy images. Even that, look, that looks really wrong. It's like, yeah! Okay, man, anyway, it's cool, man. It's totally posable. I do like it. I kind of wish the head was maybe a little bit bigger, or they had a second mouth in there. So you got the feet here. See, the feet look too big for me. It's just the feet and the legs, I think, are too big. Could have been skinnier and maybe a little bit longer. But the good thing being like that is, yeah, it's durable and it's posable too, so he can, like, do lunges, like, that be like yeah lunch jump out jump out at the predator and it's easy to like hold the balance there it's not going to really fall over he's got the closable hands just like the predator and it's a little bit more tight so the grip is a little bit better that's very very black and that's the way the alien is but it's actually really fun to put together it didn't feel repetitive to me i love the tail the tail's so cool look at that yeah you can pose the tail however you like there like that it's not going to fall off yeah oh, oh he fell down but look he's still in one piece look at that and you can rotate a lot of these pieces too. I love his back, his back is actually really awesome. Look at the back, the back's got like the pipes that come out. This is so much safer and so much better than that big sucker that we have in the office. He's there, I'm staring at him, man. You guys wanna see what he looks like? Look at the size of this guy. That's a big version of him, he will collapse. But that's actually still pretty awesome too. So, you know, if you don't want something that big or you want something more durable, this is the only other one that I know of that you can get as of right now. It is available on BreakMeUpScotty.com. All these sets are. This is really cool. The mouth opens and closes. It just sucks. I wish there was a second mouth that can go in there to pop out. His top body does rotate like that. Look at that. Do the mumbo. I thought this was actually really funny. I don't know if this was intentional, but look, if Mr. Alien wants to go to the potty, there you go. That is really wrong, man. Why did I do that? And of course he has his pet face hugger. Yes, I do. You'll love the face hugger. This is the face hugger, look at that. You can actually probably make it with your own pieces here. It's not difficult to do. You can see in the close up, it's just a couple of flat plates there and these like hinges and you have this tail here too. And yeah, that's actually pretty cool. I like it. It's a little bit big for the scale of the alien. It should be a little bit smaller, yeah? But it's cool that they have this additional face hugger on here. Attack. This one is pretty sturdy. Look. Sturdy face hugger. 
And if he wants to crawl and die like in the movies, he'll be like that. Shriveled up, shriveled up and dead. Poor little guy. So here they are, side by side for the scaling. So what do I think? I think overall the Predator looks better, but he falls apart a little bit easier. But if you pose it and put the pieces there, it's not gonna fall apart as you can see. Alien design's a little bit smaller than I expected. I kind of wish it was a little bit bigger, but he's a lot more durable. It's not gonna fall apart and it's really cool. And he comes with an awesome face hugger. But overall, I think it's actually pretty cool. It's whether or not you guys like this figurine style. And if you don't like that, check out the second video, which is gonna be the set, which is the Battlefield set. Unfortunately, it's mostly focused on Predator, but it's much, much more scaled to minifigures. So let's get to that, yeah? Next video. All right, you guys, until next time, break me up. Look, he's dabbing. Can do the Fortnite dance. You can shake his hand like that. Go, hey, how's it going? Oh, your hand fell off. That's the farthest you can sit down like that. No, I'm falling apart and everything's falling off me, my arms. I'm being really, really rough to this thing, man. You guys just gotta know that. Like, I'm really pushing everything here and there. Things might pop out. I mean, just, uh, move your, yeah, uh.